Good morning, Washington football fans. So uh, here is the injury report that we have for Sunday's game against the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, we have Charles Leno Jr. Uh, I expect him to play. Um, it, I didn't really understand what he was on the injury report for, but uh, there was an injury that was reported for him. I think on Thursday he had full practice, so um, things should be good for him. Uh, heading into Sunday's game. Uh, Brandon Sheriff, uh, he was on the injury report for chest. Um, again, I think he uh, had fully practiced uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so again, I expect uh, Brandon Sheriff uh, to be in there. It's always important to have your starting offensive linemen healthy and playing because, um, you know, an offensive line that is kind of disrupted by injuries and having to shuffle people around can cause some issues with your offense. So um, it's good to see that both of those guys had full participation this week in practice. Um, heading into um, Benjamin St. Juice, he has a concussion. Um, probably I'd say at this point, um, at the time of this making of this video, um, there has been no talk of whether he's going to play on Sunday or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I would say that since he has a concussion, it's probably very likely that he will not play on Sunday. Uh, so, you know, concussions usually take a player out of the game for at least, you know, one, one game. So... We'll kind of see what happens with uh, St. Juice, but I don't expect him to play against the uh, Atlanta Falcons. Um, we also have Antonio Gibson, who uh, did not practice this week, uh, had an issue with Shin. Um, hopefully he's going to be ready to go come um, Sunday. Uh, we really need to rely heavily on Antonio Gibson. In my last video on keys to winning the game against the Atlanta Falcons, I said that we need to give the ball to Antonio Gibson. We need to establish the run, and we need to have long, methodical drives that hopefully end in points. And that starts with Antonio Gibson. So we need him to be healthy. Um, it is a good luxury that we do have J.D. McKissick, who has been making some excellent plays for us so we do have him to rely on and we have the undrafted rookie who we haven't seen yet or at least not much in the regular season so who knows maybe he might get some playing time as well if Antonio Gibson cannot go but I'm hoping that Antonio Gibson will be ready uh, for Sunday um, so uh, Yes, there was one last one, Matt Ioannidis. Um, he was on the injury list as well. Um, don't know the status on him yet as to whether if he's going to play Sunday or not. Um, I always feel that that defense is better when Matt Ioannidis is in there. And um, he just, you know, he, he's a playmaker as well. He's able to stuff up those holes to stop the run. Um, he's just an excellent player. We missed him, even though the defense was outstanding last year uh, up front. Um, we really did miss Matt Ioannidis last year, and so it was so great to have him back this year. I just hope that he's healthy and he's ready to go against the Atlanta Falcons. So that is the injury report. Um, hopefully that this team will remain relatively healthy um, going down the line because we're going to need some healthy bodies uh, I'm not trying to overlook Atlanta because this is a must-win game, but looking ahead past Atlanta, it does not look easy for the Washington football team at all. So you need all hands on deck. You need players healthy and ready to play and give it their best. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Hell to the Washington football team.